Let's get to a story that is happening today. One historic neighborhood has been a main topic for El Paso City Council members for more than a decade now. And later on today, some new city council members will be examining the use of funds for a proposed downtown arena. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry is live in downtown with all of those details and what city reps have had to say so far. Jasmine, good morning. What can we expect later on this morning? Good morning. Since the since 2012, the project for the downtown arena to be built in the Duranguito neighborhood has been stuck in litigation. Now, a, a new representative tells us that if he was a representative back then, several years ago, he wouldn't have let the project be set in. The city released a feasibility and programming study that promises to restore the building while there's a possible chance to keep a new venue. The three proposal models for the Duranguito neighborhood includes a 8,000 seat arena, a 8,000 indoor and outdoor seat capacity, and a splitting of 6,500 indoor and 1,500 outdoor. With each proposed model, the cost would be a 30 million historic renovation. KTSN spoke with an attorney who represents a resident in the neighborhood, Veronica Carvajal and she says the neighborhood is still not suitable for the proposed project. City Council of District 8, Chris Canales, sent us a statement saying that if the project does not pass, the historic Duranguito neighborhood can improve in another way. He says, I also hope that there might be something willing to purchase the properties in the current project footprint from the city and sensitively and sensibly restore them from into something that serves the community, be that a historic old town. He tells KTSM it would preferably be used for a mix of affordable housing since the increase of property valuations post COVID should make it easier for the city to recover property costs or near market rates. Again, the meeting will be held today here at 9 in the morning, virtually and in person. For more details on the vote, go to our website at KTSM.com. Reporting in downtown, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Jasmine, thank you for that update. In the meantime, we switch to 